welcome to Dare to Scare, the YouTube series where I play scary horror games because it's Halloween and also because I want to see if they can scare me. I'm not easily scarable. I'm not easily s scared? Whatever it is. Anyway, this is Contempt. Um, this is a game I think I wanted to play last year when I didn't end up doing these videos. And it's just the screenshots looked really good. It's on itch.io. You never can tell with these games if they're going to be any good or not. So I see a VR option here. We're going to start it up and see what happens. Uh, maybe it'll be amazing, but somehow I haven't heard anyone talk about this game since it came out. So I don't know. You, like I said, you never can tell with itch.io games. Um, it is Unreal Engine 4, which could mean something. And I've got a... Whoa, okay, well, I had a mouse cursor. It's a little weird that the sound of the bugs goes away when I turn and I look at... This giant square block that is apparently supposed to be a car, maybe? Hmm. The interiors looked really good from the screenshots, so... Um... I guess we'll see what's up. Oh yeah. That's the sound of fall to me. So we can hear wind chimes, but there are no actual wind chimes. Getting a very Nightmare House 2 feeling from this. Like this is actually exactly what you do in Nightmare House 2. If you've never played Nightmare House 2, or if you want to see what that's like, I have a complete, no commentary long play of that on my YouTube channel. It's very, very old. I probably uploaded it like 2010? Very long time ago. Um, I actually should have like a playlist of Halloween videos that I usually keep kicking around. Um, Maybe that'll pop up as an annotation or a card or whatever it's called nowadays. Um, and you can go check it out there. Also getting sort of almost like PT vibes. Maybe Resident Evil 7. Very dark. But again, you know, these games are kind of supposed to be dark. I like dark games. I like games that actually, like, dare to actually portray darkness realistically. Um, one of my pet peeves lately is games where, like, it'll be nighttime, but you can see perfectly. Um, that really bugs me. So having, like, a, a pitch black space like this, um, you know, it's something I actually appreciate. In a sense, anyway, I mean, I can't really see anything. Oh, excuse me, I just had lunch. Were there stairs always there? I don't remember walking past stairs. I must have come through this door? No? It's not a door I can use. I mean, obviously they just want me to go upstairs, but... Okay, yeah. no, this is where I came in, so that's kind of, I guess, clever misdirection here. How did those moths get in here? And why are they buzzing around lights that are turned off? But anyway, that's clever misdirection here. You know, I didn't see those stairs because it led me into the kitchen. And then I turn around and I see the stairs and I hear the door slam. Um, that's, that's good misdirection, folks. Grody, ugly bathroom. Cannot flush the toilet. 
trash bags in the bathtub, that's always a good sign. You have some PT cockroaches and... Sheesh. That's a big one. Cockroaches don't really scare me. I mean, maybe they would if I've ever had to, like, deal with them. But, uh, cross our fingers here, um, we've never really had cockroaches. We've had ants, though. Ants have been a big problem this year in this apartment. Thankfully, with fall here, they're starting to go away, so... Do I walk towards the spooky sound, or do I go upstairs like they kind of seem to want me to? I'll walk towards the spooky sounds. Oh, some nice murder lighting you got here. I would... Okay, thank you. That's what I was hoping for. I mean, I guess... I mean, you, I'm hearing this clock. It sounds like it's above me. Um... Maybe it's in the kitchen, I don't know. I guess... I mean, these are usually battery-powered, right? The electricity isn't gonna mean anything towards a clock. I mean, there's no cord on that. This is why horror games don't scare me, is I get super nitpicky. Old VHS tapes... What's that cassette? I can't read it. Ah, potted VHS. Like, the thing is, I want to make a horror game someday. Like, that's just something I want to do. And I don't know if I'd ever be this picky about my own horror game. I mean, I probably would have to be, right? Is that Gabe Newell? No, that's not Gabe Newell. Kind of looks almost like him, but hair's too long. And the face isn't the right shape. What do we got? Absurd Objects. Hobo Cop. I like that. Wreck-It Rolf. One just called Easter. Ex Maria. Him. Eh, that's fun. See, these are the screenshots. Oh, I pressed play, did I? Well, where's the VCR? It's down there. Could leave parts of your body broken. Karen, tell her something. Now, I've never tried it myself. You may be surprised to hear that. <laughs> Very surprised. But I'm told it's not easy to spin around on your head. And health professionals say it may not be safe either. They're seeing some injuries. Okay. And then it's just back to that thing. More Easters, what is that? Paranoid Pete? Tell me about it, buddy. Nobody's home. I never answer the phone if I don't know who it is. Wait, you keep the phone in the bathroom? No. That doesn't make any sense. No run button, that's great. <gasps> I mean, that's kind of a nice touch. The photo disappeared. Good atmosphere so far, you know? It's pretty creepy. Graphics are pretty good. Environments are nice and detailed. There's a lot of clutter. Clutter is spooky. Speaking as someone who lived in a very cluttered house for like 25 years. Very clinical about my <laughs> analysis here. Are we gonna get like a There's kitty? Deep inside. No longer I can hide. And kitty it's horror show. Once more, it's time to roam. I cannot tell you now. Becoming home. 
I really... These new Alvin and the Chipmunks movies are getting weird. Angelo. Hmm. Now see, this is just PT right here. There should be like a clock here that says 12. Never know if I should click or hit e the E key on my keyboard to open these doors. It's click. But I keep trying to hit E. What like is this little alcove for? Is this like a mud room? Well, there, there's literally mud on the floor, so. Sorry, like the mud room thing is a joke I was making yesterday with my cousin, because I didn't know what a mudroom is. Like, I have an idea what a mudroom is, because it's... You know, it's it's obvious a, it's a room for mud, which is like muddy shoes, I guess. Okay. This time I'm not going to go towards the spooky sound. Good spooky sound though, I'll tell you that. Can't wedge in there, I want to open all these drawers. So... I mean, I assume they want me to do this. That's what that's for. Okay. Somebody's strangling a balloon. Okay, I don't have a flashlight anymore. That's... What's up? Hmm. Well. Okay. So it really is just Nightmare House. Oh, that's good. <laughs> That's less good. Was that it? That was it. Yeah, not Nightmare House 2. That specifically reminds me of the original Nightmare House, which I think was like a Counter-Strike map. Oh no, you can see my desktop. But it was like a it was like a Counter Strike source map, I think, or it was it was some weird thing where it wasn't really a standalone mod. Um, it was like its own thing, but it was very very short. It was like maybe twenty minutes long, and then it got like a lot of attention or whatever. And then it ended up you know we got Nightmare House two, which contained a remake of Nightmare House one, and then it blew off into this whole like separate storyline. But yeah, that was. That was spooky. It was short, but it was spooky. I like that. Sorry for, like, showing you the whole game here. <laughs> um, this might... Like, I thought about doing the structure I did in 2016, where Patreon donors got uncut videos where you saw everything. But this just, you know... I think that's a whole episode. I'm, I don't have my watch set up today to know how long I've been recording for. So that was contempt. Not contempt, contempt with a P. See you guys next video. 